Okay, so this may be Greek talk to uh, people who aren't into the Arduino or AVR programming. Um, but I'm dealing with uh, finalizing all the software for the magnetometer stations uh, that I spent all last year working on. Um, and we're using this Honeywell sensor, um, the HMC5883L. And there's a wonderful library written for this uh, module that I've been using. Um, but I've always known that it had a, uh, a self-test feature, which is not incorporated into the library. Um, while I'm not very familiar with writing libraries, um, I was able to um, follow the instructions in the data sheet. Um, it tells you basically what you need to do. It doesn't give you the code, but it tells you what registers need to be written and the sequence of events that needs to happen. And basically what it'll do is uh, you'll set your gain um, we have R set to 1.3, um, which is a gain of 5. Um, I did have it set to 0.88, uh, but just due to the, uh, to get a little bit more resolution, um, I went back to the default of 1.3. And what it'll do is, it'll, there's an, in, inside the chip, there's an internal, uh, um, magnetic field. Um, there's a magnet inside the chip basically and it'll bias it uh, plus or minus 1.1 Gauss I think that's yeah 1.16 1 1.1 around you know somewhere around there and when you go into self-test mode it will um, it'll add that 1.1 Gauss to the measured field, um, which you would ordinarily be uh, measuring, and it'll check and make sure it's within limits, and it'll create its own set of offset values, which other sensors, like the one on Ardusat, uh, which uses the MAG3110 sensor, does not do. So, um, if you're using any other sensor besides this Honeywell um, HMCL sensor, uh, you may have to do these uh, calibrations through software manually. Uh, but this chip does have this feature, and since it wasn't in the library, um, I just want to demonstrate that it does work. Um, it was failing on uh, the X and Z axis. And then I realized that it was because they were negative values, not necessarily out of range. Um, so instead, uh, I'm dealing with absolute numbers. So I just, uh, in the code here, I uh, just made the simple change right here of using absolute values instead of uh, signed integers. And now all three axis will uh, will pass the test. If it doesn't pass, then it doesn't apply the offset values. And this should make uh, measurements much more accurate. So every time our magnometers are turned on, it'll go through this self-test. And uh, as long as you don't have anything highly magnetic near it to set it over its limits, then it should pass. Um, and I'll open the serial monitor in a second um, and demonstrate that. This is the original library and I've looked in the header file and the CPP file and you know it's a great simple easy to use library but um, and with a little bit more experience I can probably add a simple command uh, like uh, compass dot self test 
and that would be it and maybe add some parameters like the gain level uh, and the limits uh, see so we pass those three variables on but I've got more to learn before I can uh, add that to the library so I'll get that out of the way so it's not in the uh, existing library um, so I did it in the software um, it'll set up some new variables uh, test X Y and Z and then it needs to know if uh, well it needs to know the averages so I set that up as three floating point uh, numbers for X Y and Z and then you have to know if each axis uh, passed the test uh, if it was within the allowed limits on the data sheet so I just made a uh, three three boolean variables uh, if they pass or not on each axis so after it sets up uh, after it sets the magnetometer up but before it starts uh, doing its normal functions and taking samples um, it'll I call self test right here um, right after setting my measurement mode and setting my scale so we're using the default scale of 1.3 and in earlier versions I had that set to 0.88 um, I think this will give us a little bit better resolution so down to the self test um, well first I'm just declaring some variables to calculate averages and then I'm accessing the right register um, and I got all these numbers from the data sheet um, point it to this particular register and this sets the frequency at which uh, 0x71 um, sets it at 15 Hertz and you can do a negative biased or positive biased test and I just chose to go with the positive test and then you write your gain to the register and then you set it to continuous so I'm doing all this manually uh, I2C writing directly to the registers and then you take eight samples in a for loop and you read the raw values and I put those in test X Y and Z and just read the raw values from the from the sensor and at this point the positive bias is applied so when it reads this it's reading the surrounding field plus 1.1 .1 Gauss and then I add those up and to these variables to be averaged once the for loop is finished and then once it's finished uh, you perform your averages on each axis taking eight samples so divide by eight and then you have your averages calculated it'll print those out and then it converts each average value to an absolute number so we don't have any negative numbers and it's got to be greater than 243 or less than 575 for a gain of 5 and these numbers are on the uh, on the PDF file right here if you're using different gain settings it'll give you those numbers uh, the limits uh, like a gain of 6 uh, you would use these numbers a gain of 7 you would use these numbers and uh, it was failing the test until I uh, got rid of the negative numbers and I just used a ABS uh, statement so then it is checking each axis to make sure it's within these limits and if they all are it'll apply those settings and write what needs to be written to the uh, registers over the I2C bus if not it'll let you know that the test failed but it'll just continue to move on um, and start plotting uh, without the uh, calibration but like I said if you are uh, not 
introducing any uh, anything that's highly magnetic around the sensor it should pass uh, so I'll compile this I had to change that uh, delay back to three seconds make sure it compiles okay it's fine save it upload it to the Arduino and then we'll open the serial monitor and we'll see what's going on so like I said every time the unit um, is powered on or reset it'll perform this test so it's being calibrated every time um, you reset it and uh, I did also read that uh, temperature variations can affect it so this is a probably a good idea to do if you want very accurate uh, results uh, so I'll open the serial monitor and it's going to uh, do the self-test it set the scale um, actually it defaulted to 1.3 it got its averages calculated it X, Y, and Z are within limits. It passed and it's moving on. Um, it's sending out handshaking signal. Uh, I can manually send a request for data. Just type a capital A. And there we go. And I do notice that the values are a bit different. Uh, properly calibrated. Um, you got your X, Y, and Z values and then your uh, heading is D and this in this software I've also got a uh, reboot command so that's something I haven't tried let's check on the voltage it's got a power monitor too command avail and my USB voltage is 4.18 and in the processing plotting software it monitors that and if it drops below um, slightly above uh, say 4.1 volt it'll alarm you and uh, it'll do so also in Bluetooth mode in case you're running on a battery so voltage is a little low but I do have a lot of devices on my USB bus so that's probably pulling it down if I was to disconnect the USB hub and all the other devices I'd probably see that get closer to 5 volt um, so I'll send a reboot command because I want to see if it'll do the test again I'm not sure if it will or not okay so well that's fine um, yeah it just started looking for data looking for a request to send again so let me send that make sure that works yeah but anyway for anybody interested I will put this on my github account and put a link into the description box um, if anybody would like to step forward to incorporate this into the library um, I know there's several libraries out there I'll just show you the one I'm using so there's no confusion but uh, anybody with more experience than me um, if you would like to that would be wonderful to incorporate this self-test um, what I'm thinking is just say compass uh, dot self-test and then pass on um, three variables pass on the gain and then pass on the upper and lower limits and then from there just have it do uh, the same thing that this software is doing so I'm using this module this library right here um, it just I found it on github it was uh, the name of it is just HMC 5883L see if it has an author um, it's got one example I think yeah Let's see if there's a author in the example. But if somebody wants to add that to the CPP file in the header, that would be wonderful. Love Electronics 
dot c o dot u k is the author for integration with a HMC five eight eight three L triple uh, triple axis magnetometer. So right there, that's the library. and the code will be below.